whoa, it's uh, certainly starting to feel like fall. The last couple of days have been ugly, but fortunately here at Outlooks, we are full of beautiful new fall product, including some wonderful additions of uh, things made in England. Uh, when the pound was a $2.60, you couldn't buy anything from England, but uh, when I'm away buying now, I really enjoy the fact that the dollar to the pound is about $1.60. Uh, so we've made some additions, including these beautiful pea coats by Gloverall, all wool, made in England, just a fabulous item. Cut a little trimmer than the big old ones that the Navy wore, uh, but just a lovely piece. Beautiful wool, the big high collar, traditional pockets and the anchor buttons. Uh, this will keep you warm when the weather gets uh, grim. One of my favorite parts about England was um, meeting Oliver Spencer, um, a designer who has a couple of stores in London, two in Tokyo, and one in New York. Um, it's a complete line of beautiful, beautiful things, and he tries to make absolutely everything in England. He makes beautiful cable nets like this really heavy cardigan in the color of the season, uh, sort of a soft gray with the uh, leather buttons and all wonderfully detailed, just perfect for a sort of uh, chilly fall or winter day here in Victoria. He did this fabulous hood button um, duffel coat in waxed cotton and uh, Oliver has a lovely feature. He includes the longitude and latitude of uh, where a product was made. So uh, this is another one of his pieces that's made in England. Um, button off hood, interesting plaid lining and uh, just perfect for the weather we live in. England has um, always been famous for making beautiful shoes, but uh, once again now the um, pound has made them a little more affordable. We already carry Grenson shoes, um, and this season we've added Hudson. Um, definitely a more casual, fun, funky shoe, probably best with jeans and just uh, beautifully made with the leather soles and uh, very interesting. Uh, addition. Hudson also does this beautiful desert boot. I have a pair myself already with the red brick sole. Um, lovely shoe and in a bit of a non-traditional color there's this very cool gray and actually a blue, literally blue suede shoes. Another great find in England is these uh, Scott nickel socks. Um, probably look best with a kilt, but we're uh, sort of suggesting you might wear them with jeans. Anyway, uh, beautiful thick wool with traditional kind of tweed woven into them. Um, just a really interesting find. While the buying in England was excellent, I always find beautiful things in Italy. Uh, for fall, we've added this uh, wonderful sweater line called V-neck. Uh, ironically, I didn't buy a V-neck from them, uh, but I did buy two or three really fun cardigans, including this beautiful black piece here with the big brass buttons. Um, all made in Italy, uh, that's all they do is, is knitwear, and uh, despite the fact, the sort of heavy look at this, it's uh, ironically, surprisingly light. Back in Canada, I found a couple of really cool sportswear lines. Canada has long been known for making really nice suits, shirts and ties, but in more casual wear, not so much. This is a new line out of uh, uh, Toronto called 18 Weights. Um, small, tight little collection, but it's, uh, it's got great potential. We really love this um, sort of casual shirt, but done with like a tuxedo wing collar and then the hidden placket with the taped in seams and the detail on the inside. Comes in about three colors, sort of trim, interesting fit, and uh, yeah. Uh, 18 Weights is a line we think is going someplace and everything's actually made in Canada. 18 Weights also makes beautiful uh, jerseys, this sort of uh, little bit of Canadiana made in Canada. Um, this Henley done with the double layered detail and all the buttons trimmed in red and it comes in about three colors and there's also a t-shirt version with an interesting sort of stitch detail down the side. but. Uh, Really great item and uh, really happy to see some stuff like this made in Canada. On my way back home, I stopped off in Vancouver to buy Wings and Horns. It's our second season with this line and we love it. Their jerseys are beautiful. This is a tiger fleece, 
um, zip cardigan. They do some really cool hoodies and great t-shirts and uh, waffle sort of handleys, things of the such. Um, ironically, a line that for, has been made in Vancouver forever, but it's actually biggest in Japan where it's a real fashion item. But uh, we have now carried it for two seasons here at Outlooks and uh, we love every piece of it. It's generally a basics line of things that, but always done with a twist. This is a sort of a waffle Henley, familiar to most of us, sort of uh, like the sort of workwear underwear, but done with this uh, lock stitch and uh, then the distinctive uh, X up here, which is sort of something you find in lots of wings and horns, jersey pieces, but uh, beautiful and soft and cut very interesting, comes in a few colors and uh, yeah, just really great basics. Um, that sort of finished off my trip and it was an excellent buying trip as much as I loved England and found some great things there and enjoyed Italy. Um, it's really nice to know that uh, you can buy some beautiful things that are made in Canada.